An environmentalist is this evening urging the government to stop all new construction projects until there's a guarantee that proper monitoring of environmental impact will be done. The call comes amidst concerns about the destruction of mangroves to facilitate a new 2,000-room hotel in Hanover. Krista Campbell reports. Green Island in Hanover, appropriately named for its lush vegetation, sits on the northwestern coast just 14 miles from the tourist town of Nigril, Westmoreland. That makes it a prime candidate for tourism interests, and Princess Hotel and Resorts is moving in for the take. The National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, has granted approval for construction on what is to be a 2,000-room hotel, costing over 500 million U.S. dollars. But environmentalists and at least one tourism interest is not pleased that some mangroves will be destroyed in the process. The Negro area is, is a very low-lying, flat area, and I think the reason why the mangroves developed there was as a protection for the community. You know, I saw the images of that, um, that excavator ripping out the, the mangroves, and, and that in itself is frightening, you know, it, it's a frightening sight. But uh, as long as we, we ensure that the, 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 the long-term benefits are much greater than the damage that, was, that is being done to the environment, then you know, it can be justified in that way. But Sophie Grizzle Rommel doesn't think it's justified. She says it's time the government develops a proper plan for future developments, which will hold developers more accountable to minimizing the impact of construction on the environment. They go to other countries and develop environmentally, more environmentally and more sustainably than we are allowing to be done in Jamaica. And I think we need as a nation to understand that we can still have development, which is economically good for our country, but it has to be more sustainable and more protective of the very things that protect us. President of the Negril Chamber of Commerce, Richard Wallace, says while a new hotel will bring lots of business to Green Island and by extension Hanover, he's concerned about the inadequate attention to infrastructure and utilities. I know they're going to employ thousands of people. Where are these people going to live? You know, where are their children going to go to school? Where are, you know, the other services that, that they, they need, you know, hospital services, medical services, all of these things need to be in place. Otherwise, we will end up with, with a haphazard growth, you know, with, with squatter communities and so forth developing around. It takes two to three hours to drive from Montego Bay to Negro. So when you have another 4,000 people arriving, where are they going to drive? You know, where is the roads? Krista Campbell, TVJ News.